Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on installing Linux Mint, one of the most popular Linux distributions out there. Whether you're new to Linux or a seasoned user, Linux Mint offers a perfect mix of simplicity, elegance, and power. It's especially great if you're transitioning from another operating system like Windows. If you haven't tried Linux Mint yet, this guide will walk you through the entire installation process. First, let's get started by downloading Linux Mint. Head over to the official Linux Mint website and click on the Download button. When the download page appears, you'll have three desktop environments to choose from, XFCE, Mate, and Cinnamon. If you're new to Linux or prefer a straightforward experience, Cinnamon is highly recommended. It offers a sleek design, easy navigation, and a wide range of available applications. Select the Cinnamon edition and download it from the nearest server location for faster speeds. Next, we need to create a bootable USB drive using a tool called Rufus. Visit the Rufus official website and scroll down to the download section. Choose the version that matches your platform. Usually, the first option will work for most people. Once Rufus is downloaded, start the program and plug in your USB drive. Rufus should detect it immediately. Click on Select and choose the Linux Mint ISO file you just downloaded. One in Rufus, you'll need to choose a partition scheme. You can select either MBR for older computers or GPT for newer ones and UEFI mode. Set the file system to NTFS and click on Start to begin burning the ISO to your USB drive. Rufus will prompt you to choose a write mode. Stick with the default settings. If you encounter issues during boot, you can come back and try the DD image mode. Rufus might need to download some additional files. Click Yes to proceed. A warning will appear that all contents of the USB drive will be erased, so make sure to back up any important files before clicking OK. While Rufus does its thing, you might want to grab a cup of tea. Once it's done, close Rufus. Now it's time to set up your computer to boot from the USB drive. Plug the USB drive into the computer where you want to install Linux Mint. Power on the computer and repeatedly press the delete key or the key specified for your system to enter the BIO slash UEFI settings. In the boot section, set the first boot option to the USB drive. Also, make sure that both fast boot and secure boot are disabled to ensure a smooth installation. Save your changes and exit the BIOS UEFI. Your computer will restart. After a few moments, the Linux Mint installation menu will appear. Select the first option for a normal 64-bit installation. The system will load and you'll find yourself in a live session of Linux Mint running directly from the USB. You can use Mint without installing it, but let's proceed with the installation. Double-click the Install Linux Mint icon on the desktop. A setup wizard will guide you through the process. Start by selecting your preferred language and clicking Continue. Next, choose your keyboard layout and click Continue. You'll see an option to install multimedia codecs. Check this box to ensure you can play various media formats and install necessary display drivers. Then, click Continue. At the Installation Type page, you'll have two options. Erase the entire disk, which is fine if you're starting fresh, or choose something else for advanced users who want to customize the disk layout. If another operating system is already installed, you might see an additional option to install Linux Mint alongside it. Select whichever suits your needs. I'll stick with the first option to keep things simple. A pop-up will confirm the partition setup. Click Continue. Set your location and click Continue. Create a user account with a password and set your computer's name. Then click Continue to start the installation. The installation will now begin. Wait for the system files and packages to be installed. Once the installation is complete, a pop-up window will inform you that it's time to restart. Click on Restart Now, remove the USB drive when prompted, and press Enter to reboot your machine. Your computer will boot into Linux Mint, and you'll be greeted by the login screen. Enter your password to log in. Upon logging in, a welcome window will appear, guiding you through the post-installation steps, which we'll cover in another tutorial. Congratulations! You've successfully installed Linux Mint. Dive into this powerful operating system and see how it can transform your computing experience. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to drop a comment below. Enjoy your Linux Mint journey.